Hi, um, I just wanted to share some thoughts quickly on um, the parable of the two foundations at the end of the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 7. Um, so in Matthew 7, starting in verse 24, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and acts on them may be compared to a wise man who builds his house on the rock. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and slammed against that house, and yet it did not fall, for it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who builds his house on the sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew, and they slammed against the house, and it fell. And great was its fall. So, this is um, fairly easy to understand if you understand a little bit of the Jewish background at the time and the discussion of Jewish eschatology. And so the comparison of two houses is, uh, is not new. It, first of all, it, it, it gets brought up like in, uh, in, in Psalms where it's paralleling the, the destiny like in Psalms 1 of the righteous and the wicked. But again, it does it in Proverbs using the language of two houses in Proverbs 12, verse 7, and Proverbs 14, verse 11. So the contrast of two houses, and it's a wise man and a foolish man. And what's, what's happening is Jesus is saying, and the tenses are important. They are, in some translations, they're obscure, obscured, but in verse 24... It says, therefore, everyone hearing these words of mine and who acts on them will be compared or will be like is actually the word will be like a wise man who's built his house on the rock. So it's using the, uh, the parable to explain it. But the, the analogy of the winds and the floods coming are basically Jewish a Jewish way of describing the day of the Lord and the coming time of judgment. And so what Jesus is saying is that the one who's building now, all of you are listening, the one who's listening and obeying, that one will look like on that day of calamity, will look like a wise man who knew that the calamity was coming and he built his house in a way that could sustain that which is coming. And the one who hears and doesn't do what I've said is going to be when that when that day of judgment comes. He's going to be like a man who is who is foolish and decided to build the same house on the sand. And what's what's alarming about this is that it assumes that both men have built the same house. And it may very well look similar to others, but until that time of calamity comes, you don't actually see which foundation the house is built on. You see, and you have evidence of it, but not till it comes. The only way we know the difference right now in this parable of Jesus is one of these men are giving themselves to obeying his words. And the other is hearing and saying amen, but not doing what he said. In other words, he's saying that his words are um, a safe haven for what's to come, for this context of Jewish eschatology and the day of judgment and the, and the trouble that will precede it. His words create a stability and a place of security for God's people so that they're not so easily shaken and their house doesn't suffer ruin on the last day. So you can uh, ask any questions or, or, uh, or comments anywhere the video is posted. Be glad to help with any uh, questions that you have. But I hope this has been helpful and I will uh, be sharing some more videos shortly. Thanks. Lord be with you guys.